Be bedtime. Good evening, everyone. How was your day? Such a long day full of joy, wasn't it? And now, are you ready for the last adventure before bedtime with me? Uh huh. Let's go. Today, we will discover a story named A Hundred Knot Bamboo Tree. Once upon a time, there was a poor man named Potato, who worked as a servant for a landlord in the village. The landlord was very mean, but he had a single, beautiful daughter. He was afraid that Potato would leave his household and thus he would lose a hard worker. So, he promised Potato that if he worked hard for three years, he would be allowed to marry the landlord's daughter. Potato was very honest, so he believed the landlord. He worked day and night and looked forward to getting married. However, the landlord didn't keep his promise. When the time for marriage arrived, the landlord said to Potato. Potato. Go to the forest, find a hundred knot bamboo, and cut it up into chopsticks for the wedding feast. Then I'll let you marry my daughter. Potato again believed the landlord. Bringing an axe with him, he went to the forest in search of bamboo with one hundred knots. The landlord took the opportunity and offered his daughter to the son of a wealthy man in the neighboring village. The landlord and the wealthy man were very happy after tricking Potato. After he left, they began secretly preparing for their children's wedding. Meanwhile, Potato spent his whole day climbing every mountain and crossing every stream in the forest to search for bamboo with 100 knots. However, he couldn't find one. The tallest bamboo he could see had less than 50 knots. Tired and sad, he started crying. Suddenly, Buddha, the supreme man who always helped good people and punished bad ones, appeared. He asked Potato, Who are you? Why are you crying? After listening to Potato's story, Buddha smiled and said, Don't worry. Go and cut 100 knots of bamboo, put them in a row, and say, Stick together. Stick together. And you'll have the bamboo you want. Then Buddha disappeared. Filled with joy, Potato immediately went and cut 100 knots of bamboo. Potato soon had the bamboo knots he needed. Now, let's repeat after Potato so that he could have the 100 knot bamboo tree to marry the landlord's daughter. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Potato set out to bring it back, but it was too big and heavy for him to load onto his shoulders. Potato started to cry again. Buddha immediately appeared and said. The bamboo will come apart in 100 knots when you say, unstick. Unstick. Repeat after me. Unstick. 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 Potato did as Buddha said and the bamboo came apart in 100 knots. He tied up the knots and brought them back. But when he got home, Potato saw the two families holding their wedding. He realized he had been tricked. He put the bamboo knots in the yard and asked the landlord to receive his bridal token. Looking at the bamboo knots, the landlord shouted, I asked you to find a bamboo with 100 knots, not 100 knots of bamboo. How stupid you are. Both the landlord and the wealthy man burst into scornful laughter and mocked Potato. Potato became angry. He said nothing to the men, but quietly put the bamboo knots in a row and shouted, Stick together. Stick together. They turned into one bamboo with 100 knots. The landlord was very surprised, so he came near to see the bamboo. If you want to punish the landlord for being a liar, let's help Potato by saying stick together two times. One, two, three. Stick together. Stick together. Immediately, the landlord stuck to the bamboo. The wealthy man came to rescue the landlord, but Potato said in a low voice, Stick together. Stick together. The wealthy man stuck to the bamboo, too. The two rich men screamed and begged for freedom. The landlord was so scared that he promised to let Potato marry his daughter that day. Then Potato said, Unstick. Unstick. 
The bamboo immediately came apart and the rich men were free. The wealthy man and his son left the wedding feast in a hurry. Potato tied the knot with the landlord's daughter that day, and they lived together happily forever and ever. I am so happy for Potato. How about you? I hope that you like our adventure tonight and I also hope that you are ready for bed. Thank you for joining with me and, have a sweet dream. A sweet dream. A sweet dream. A sweet dream.